What's up everybody and welcome to Ontario History Vlogs. Thank you very much for tuning in. Another scorcher out there. Hope you all were staying cool today. It's deadly weather out there. I do understand we live in a desert, but this is just too much. Well, that's why I've been staying indoors as much as possible. And I've created another vlog for you all showing a historic home in Upland that represents a time where Upland was known as the model colony. And this house is known as the Charles Harwood House. And I would like to share the story about it with you all. So I hope you enjoy it. Without further ado, let this vlog begin. Charles Edward Harwood was born on October 19, 1830 in Bennington County, Vermont. When Harwood was 22 years of age, he graduated from the Williams College class of 1852. He studied law under Judge Pierpont Isham and was admitted to the bar at Janesville, Wisconsin in 1856. It was much later in Mr. Harwood's life when he moved to Ontario. It was in 1887 when he moved to the model colony not just to settle, but to apply his traits and discernment of which the colony needed to grow. That same year in 87, Charles and his brother Alfred Harwood, along with Hugh McNeil, Charles Frankish, the father of Ontario, Daniel McFarland, Lyman Stewart, who lived here, which is now Molly Super, Oliver S. Pilcher, and Godfrey Stamm, formed the Ontario Land and Improvement Company. Charles Harwood was allotted 1,000 of the company's 4,625 shares. A year later in 1888, Charles Harwood and Charles Frankish established the Ontario and San Antonio Heights Railway Company, bringing the mule car into town that traveled Euclid Avenue. Operation began in September of 1888. John Taze, another pioneer of the town, who lived here at the top of Euclid, designed and built a platform for the mules to ride on for the trip down. That same year in 88, Mr. Harwood purchased 20 acres of the Ontario colony from the Chafee brothers and acquired the Bedford real estate for a cost of $63,504. This was for the land of Magnolia, which will later become Upland. The beautiful Magnolia Villa was held in Leon. After acquiring the land, Mr. Harwood became a lemon rancher and was the first president of the Upland Lemon Growers Association. Harwood entered another venture as he, along with H.C. Oakley and Dr. J.W. Oakley, founded Bellevue Memorial Park Cemetery in Ontario, opening in 1892. Just prior to Bellevue's opening, Charles Harwood built his Victorian home for himself and daughter Aurelia. A Chinese cook also lived there at the residence. It was built in 1891 for $11,000, which is equivalent to about $380,000 in 2024, an extremely low cost for such a home today. It's a Victorian-style tradition sitting on 1.25 acres. So here's the home of Charles Edward Harwood, a 133-year-old domicile. <laughs> 